hey beauties welcome back to my channel so if you clicked on this and you're liking what you're seeing um, you probably want to know how I got this look using the Huda Beauty Coral Obsessions palette so if you're interested in seeing how I got this amazing look please stay tuned for the rest of the video so we're just gonna jump right into it so the palette I'm gonna use today is a palette I have not used before um, it's not necessarily a new palette or anything like that but it is new to me because I have not used it it is the Huda, Huda Beauty Coral Obsessions palette and it just has some really pretty shades inside as you guys can see here they're really pretty bright and vibrant more so of like a spring type of shades in my opinion but we're gonna work with them and see what looks we can get I saw this palette on Sephora um, on Sephora online, but I did see it in store before but every time I wanted to purchase it they were sold out So when I got the opportunity, I finally purchased it and I can't wait to use it I think we're gonna have a really cute look today um, I've had this for a minute just have not used it. Don't ask me why but we're just gonna jump right in Okay, so with a real techniques brush a domed shadow brush. This is like my favorite brush to use I'm gonna go in with this shade here um, because it looks like it'll be a really nice transition color so we're just gonna go in with this shade and we're gonna use that as a transition shade and this is the first time I'm using any of these um, obsessions so I do have another one that I want to use but I'll probably save that for another video of course so just blending that in there building that shade that color up and we're winging it we don't know what we're doing today okay um, I'm just looking at what's in this palette and we're making it work now we're gonna go on with this shade here and we're gonna use the same brush and we're just gonna put that um, in the crease as well and just build up that color And I might do like a halo because I just, I love halos. I just, they're so cute. Just build that color up. And I'm wearing like dark, like gray and bl and black. And I was going to do like a, a kind of a smoky eye, like a actual, like a gray smoky eye. But... <laughs> I have all these nice pretty bright colors so I was like girl just do a bright shade make it cute but I'll probably do that smoky eye look I was thinking about um, in another video so you're just building that up in the crease what we're gonna do now is go in with this shade here in the corner because we're just kind of build up that color and I'm just trying to make the most out of this palette so we're just gonna go in with this shade here and we're gonna put that in the crease as well and just build up those layers get beat up that depth that dimension and I'm using a different brush for that um, it's a base shadow brush from real techniques the only thing right now I'm wishing is that this palette had like a deeper brown I'm saving this one but I really wish that it had a deeper brown I might just dip into another palette so I can get that brown that I'm looking for because it's 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 really pink ish right now which I don't mind but I was you know I was thinking more like orange for the look I was going for but we're gonna make it work today we're gonna make it work I'll just grab the other brush and I'm just cleaning it up some so back to this one we're gonna go in with this uh, rust is it like a rust mm, like a rust brown orange something shit popping something we're gonna go in with this one here um, and go in the crease with it and then we're gonna come to the like the halo effect so it'll be like the ends of your eyelid and then the inner corner of the eyelid 
This color is pretty. And there is some fallout, but normally you have fallout when it's not so pressed and it's normally pigmented. I, I noticed that with like, you know, the high end, higher end products. So it's not necessarily a bad thing. Building that up. Okay, so since that palette, and I wanted to just use that palette, but since that palette didn't have um, a deeper brown, which I was really wanting a deeper brown, um, I went into my Morphe, um, what palette is this? My Morphe 350 palette, um, and it looks like this. And I'm going to go in with a deeper brown shade. So I'm gonna go in with this shade here. And I'm basically going to work that in the same area to get the halo effect. So in the crease and then um, on the outer corners and the inner corners of my eyes. Just trying to get some depth. They're kind of close in shade. So to me, it was just looking a little washed out. So in order to get a little more depth, I wanted a brown color. I, mean, I don't know if you guys can see the difference. I mean, I mean, I can see it. I don't know if you guys can see the difference, but it definitely gave it some more depth. Cause we don't want the colors to just be washed, honey. We need some depth. And we're just building. We don't really know what we're doing. We're, I guess we're doing a halo. <laughs> Something. And so what I'm going to do is basically take this shade here, so the first shade that we used, and I'm going to basically go back where I would initially put it on top and just kind of like blend out those colors that I have up there just so we kind of have like a smooth transition where nothing looks too crazy. And then... I'm trying to use most of these shades up in here, girl. All right, so with this one in the middle, I'm just gonna take that and use that basically uh, on my brow bone and just dust that. So it's like, listen, we used most of these shades. We got a nice gradient effect. It's lit. Oh, and I grabbed a different brush. This is just a Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush. It's just fluffy and I just needed something to put it there. And so I kind of just blend out, blend out that line. So it kind of is like a nice fade for an attack to the bottom. Okay, so now since we have that um, empty space there, I'm going to take some concealer so I, I'm just working with the ColourPop no filter concealer right now and I'm basically just going to put a little bit right there on the uh, open area that doesn't have any eyeshadow on I'm just gonna put some on there and then just a little bit and then we're gonna put some shades on top of that and I wiped it off a lot because um, wipe the applicator off because I didn't want it to be like too much I wanted to be able to work with it and this is a flat this is just a flat um, eco tools brush so I'm just gonna use that to kind of move it around where I want it to be where I'm gonna apply the uh, shimmery shade That's basically the gist of it. All right, so um, I wanna kinda build up and use this other color that's in the uh, Huda Beauty palette. But to build on it, I'm actually going to use, um, go back into this Morphe palette, and I'm gonna use this shimmery shade here in the corner. This I've used this once before. Ugh, it is so pretty. It is so pretty, I'll swatch it real quick. And I'm going to apply that on basically like kind of do a halo 
within the halo so on the ends of the concealer I'm gonna put those on I'm gonna put this shade on there I hope that made sense okay it's looking like something it's looking like something that want me cute it's looking like something that want to be cute next all right so I'm gonna grab a small brush this is a smudge brush from real techniques and I'm just gonna uh, spray it spray a little bit with the Mac prep um, prime fix plus I'm gonna spray that on there a little bit and I'm going to go in with this shade here and I'm going to put that I'm going to put that it's really pretty too Ooh, it's pretty all right and I'm gonna basically put that in the middle where there's just a little bit of concealer left that was not covered And I'm gonna make sure it's nice and blended. Yeah, this is giving me coral. This is giving me mermaid. Cause it kind of has like a little bit of an iridescent touch to it. Mm-hmm, that's cute. That's cute. That is cute. All right, so I have those shades on there. So what I'm getting, going, giving, giving, back back to Cali Cali a eh? no all right so what I'm going to do is take um, take a brush and a brush and I'm going to go back in with um, this shade here in the corner and I'm going to put that on my bottom lash line poking myself y'all I'm crazy all right with the same brush because why would we change it right I'm going to go in with the brown color with the brown well it's not brown but in this palette it's brown um, it is a rusted orange brown we're gonna go in with that shade and we're basically going to keep it on like the outer corner you know what we gonna bring it all the way cuz why not okay why not all right but now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back into the morphe palette and remember that brown color that we used um, this one here we're going to make this one like a bottom halo so we're just gonna put that brown on the outside and the inner corner of the bottom lid all right and so we're going to use the same brush that we used to put this uh, color on the center of the top lid we're going to put that in the middle of the bottom lid And just try to line it up with the halo effect at the top. So sorry, my memory card got full, so I had to take those off, take the photos and stuff off of the memory card. I'm back, anyways. So I finished the bottom lid. I think that was it. All I wanted to do was that. So I noticed some fallout, so I'm going to just lightly dust any fallout away so I'm gonna take this lip liner any liner would do eyeliner whatever um, I wanted a brown shade not a black or anything like that so I'm gonna put that on my waterline um, this is from NYX it's in the shade nutmeg so that's done so what I'm going to do now is basically take some mascara we're almost getting down to the wire guys all right so this is the NARS mascara in climax so I'm just gonna go ahead and put some of that on and this was a hype purchase so I was hearing the hype about it and 
Um, I like it. Um, before I was just using the Sephora one because mascara isn't really something that like I have tons of. It's just not my zhizh. <laughs> like, um, I feel like if you have a good mascara, it can last you a while and you can literally just keep buying the same one if you really want to. So what I'm going to do now is basically get these lashes on. The lashes that I'm going to use today are from Your Lash Bar and they're in the style Tequila Sunrise. They're like my favorite style from them. Um, I just think they're so pretty and they're just like really wispy and pretty. I was gonna put the lashes on off camera, but I figured why not let y'all see the struggle. All right, so I put the lashes on. I'm not a thousand percent happy right now with the application, but we're just gonna move on. I'm just gonna move on. If I was going somewhere, I'd be like, oh, let me fix them. But I'm not, these probably gonna get pulled off right after this video, so. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the mascara on the bottom um, lashes. You guys could have did this when I originally put the mascara on, but. I wanted to wait because I know we're like I'm putting them on and like pinching them sometimes I can get mascara on my fingers okay so one of the final steps one of the final steps that I'm going to do right now is get some highlighter on my cheeks because I don't have any on so I'm just gonna go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills glow kit in sun dipped and take my big fluffy brush that I use for my highlight and I'm basically gonna dip in all of these just a little tap in all of them and then we're just gonna go on the cheeks with these with this I don't know if y'all can see that that highlight but it's there honey and then take some and go nose, tip of the nose, a little higher on the bridge, put a little there too. Oh, you know what I just realized? I didn't put any glow in my inner corners, so we're going to do that now. I knew I skipped something. I knew I skipped something with my memory card. I want to go ahead and... uh have no memory so I'm gonna use this brush that I used for the coral uh, coral I mean it is kind of coral the coral shimmer color in the uh, Huda Beauty palette we were using so I'm just gonna take that and go in the corners of my eyes just uh, with this brush but I'm using the highlight from this palette from that uh, sun dipped palette my tongue is tied so that okay there's that and then the last thing lips so the same liner it was a lip liner so the same liner that we used for the waterline on the eyes we're going to use that as a lip liner i already have uh, some chapstick on so i'm just going to go ahead and line my lips with this and depending on how i feel i have i have like a kind of pretty distinct cupid's bow so sometimes i'll highlight it and sometimes i'll be like no nah, i'm just gonna go over it and just gonna go over it is one of the days today so go like that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. then i'm gonna go in with the morphe uh liquid liquid lipstick and this is in true story and i'm gonna um basically go on this on the outskirts kind of like a line or two so like that around my nose is running 
don't y'all hate that y'all do y'all nose be running when y'all doing y'all makeup because mine does i don't know why and this color is so pretty it's such like a pretty brown um i did buy another liquid lipstick from uh, morphe and this was when they, they're in alta now so i picked it up in alta because i was excited i was like oh, i don't have to order it online anymore i picked up another shade and it's kind of like a vampy red which I love the vampy red colors, but I feel like I can never find one that's not streaky. And that one, I don't know if it's just that formula because of the color, and maybe it's just that color. It's really hard to perfect, but that was so streaky, and it literally like started crumbling off of my lips. It was terrible. All right, so got that on my lips, just dab it together. And so the final shade we're going to use is from NYX. And it is, it is a NYX Strictly Vinyl Gloss, basically. And it is in the shade Sugar Mama. Ugh. I love, like, the browns and the nudes. And, ugh, I just love it. Like, like the creamy colors and everything like that. They're just so pretty. So, we're going to put that on the inside of the lips. Y'all. Okay. Do y'all see that? So it kind of just gave it like kind of an ombre effect, a little gloss on top to give that matte just a little, mm, you know what I'm saying? And it's just so pretty and I love it. You guys should pick this up. It's like, ugh, love it. All right, anyways, last step. We're just going to do a little setting, a little setting spray. Voila. And we are all done. Hallelujah. Alright, so that's the finished look for today. Um, thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you liked it, please like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. Um, I'm trying to do my best to post weekly videos and give you guys a little variety. Um, so if you guys like this video, please let me know. If you guys want to see something different, please leave a comment and let me know. Um, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, and I'll see you guys next time for my next video. Bye, beauties.